Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Chris RV2 channel for another episode of the Let's Talk About It, where this time we're going to be talking about shark movie Jaws coming out in 1975. That's... The movie doesn't feel like it came out in that era, but it it's a uh, fun, fun fact for everybody. But as always, whenever we talk about these movies, we got our fun cast of people. We got CG Daniel B. Um... I got to confess, I thought Jaws looked outdated, and I thought The Meg was just a remake, so I watched that instead. So I'm completely, I watched the wrong movie. <laughs> and then we got Dear John. And then we got Dwarven Lion Kanai. I have this thing, and I don't know what the hell it is, but it's really fun to just sit there and fuck with it. Looks like a Chinese uh, finger trap for your dick. That, so that I thought, whoa, I thought it was a Chinese <laughs> finger trap. Bad trip. Not, I don't, I don't know what it is. It came in a box full of cat toys from a cat, but I can't Aww. stop fucking with it. And like, I'm probably going to be playing with this the whole time. I like to imagine you just take your cat's paws and shove it inside and they can't get out. <laughs> you need to like calm down. He just drags his face across the carpet <laughs> to go anywhere. <laughs> And uh, just like like I said, guys, we're going to be talking about Jaws. So what was everybody's first initial thoughts, feelings, opinions before we get into the bit into the into the thick of it? I like Jaws. OK, I think Jaws is a good movie. I think uh, we talked slightly a little bit before uh, beforehand where we're like, there's parts where it drags and it's it's like 30 ish minutes longer than it needs to be. Um but I enjoy it. I said beforehand, I've never seen Jaws like front to back in one sitting. I've seen the entire movie in bits. But uh, no, I enjoy this movie. I think it's a fun time. Deirdre? Yeah, I, I like the movie. <laughs> I think that it, I feel like it is a little longer than it needed to be. But, you know, we all have our flaws. Um, I think it's even sharks. Even <laughs> sharks. Like, Needless to say, a very different tone from the movies we've watched so far and the movies that we will end up watching. So it's, you know, different. I was going to say this is an exact clone of The Crow, but in the form of a shark. Um, no. <laughs> yeah, um, I can see that. I can see that. Do you want my initial reaction this time or my initial reaction the first time I saw the movie? Give us the first time. Okay, first time I ever saw this movie, I was like, ooh, ha ha, sharky, gonna eat people, ooh. And, like, if the shark was not on screen or somebody was not dying when I was a child, I was like, this is boring. Uh, Rewatching it, I think it, like, I don't hate the story of this movie. Um, I think it's interesting because the shark's not really the bad guy. The mayor is. Like, it, like when I watched it, I was like, the shark's just being a shark. The shark's just hungry. It doesn't know better. It thinks these people are fish. And, um... Then, like, the mayor's like, no, don't close the town down. I need money. We need money. And, like, I was like, wow, he's the bad guy. And then I was talking about it before where, like, the, uh, uh Quint, there we go, the older guy, the the fisherman, mm. uh, he's almost, like, a secondary antagonist because he just, like, he's like, nope, we're staying. We're fighting it. We're, we're doing it. I'm obsessed with this goddamn shark. We're not leaving. Uh, and, like. It's not really said, but like his actions, there's a part where they're like, what are you doing? You're going to break the boat. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? And he like just doesn't answer. And when they try and stop him, he like shoves him like away from where he currently is. Right. So it, it's an interesting thing because the, the thing that is killing everybody is not necessarily the bad guy. And uh, I think Steven Spielberg put it the best way when he read the initial book and made a comment on it. He ends up rooting for the shark more than he does the people. Uh, because, like, in the original story, the people, in his words, are very unlikable. And I think he did some things to try and remedy that. Like, I think he made Hooper, like, this very, like, I'm experienced and overexcited. And then he made um, the main character, I always forget his name. Uh, Brody. Uh, Chief like Brody. Brody. Yeah, I was going to say, it's something, like, that I should know. A dog. Um, but, like, yeah, exactly. Um, but... They make him very, like, he's a family man, but, like, he's worried for his town. So, like, he tries to remedy it a little bit, but, like, they just kind of come off as, like... It, to me, I was still kind of uninterested, but I wasn't... I didn't think they were unlikable. Right. But overall, it, it was better than I expected, because I, I think I told you last night, I was like, I do not want to watch this alone. 
because I will fall asleep, I will get distracted, I will miss things, because I remember there being a large gap of time where I just did not care. And uh, the, the when I watched it this time, I was like, okay. And like things grabbed my attention, probably not for the best reasons, but I did like it. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I definitely get because because the uh, the unlikable people like that's like very heavily sprinkled throughout the movie. Mm-hmm. Like the like the mayor is just oh, dear Joe. Right, we don't need girls. <laughs> this is a boys' club, boy. Boys, let's go. <laughs> I have no idea what. Yeah, you disabled your camera, went to Gen Chat, and then came back. <laughs> so it told me that I was connected at another location. Oh, <laughs> and so I couldn't come back in because me at another location was connected. Oh, she was out that shooting was... another podcast. That well, very scary. I think somebody Here else I just am. signed in as you. Yeah. Oh, check your credit card for fraudulent accounts. Gabe yeah. is probably... Who's that? God damn it, yeah, Gabe. Right? She does it all the time. <sighs> but 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 yeah, so um. So yeah, no, I'm definitely the, like like in the same boat where the first time I because I was in the from same boat as like Danny where before I watched it for the movie in full, I watched the movie in bits and pieces, and then watching it all together, I was like, holy shit, this is a lot. Especially when you see that the movie is like two hours and like fourteen minutes long, like that is a hefty time. Yeah, I um, uh, I was telling Deirdre yesterday. That two days ago, I was like, all right, I should watch this before I go to bed. And I like went to go start it. And it was like it was like two in the morning. And I, I like pulled it up in the time. It was like two hours and five minutes. And I was like, two hours. <laughs> Holy shit. And I was like, oh, I'm doing this tomorrow. <laughs> and I just I just turned it off. Tomorrow. Yeah, because it, it is quite the time investment. Yeah, it's it's a it's a time sink, dog. Which, uh, would which we will let 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 you guys ultimately do? Because I I think everybody should at least get give the movies at least a watch just to get it. Because you know you guys are getting our word for it, but get your own opinions. Watch the mo- movie yourselves as well, and then let us know. <laughs> get your own opinion. Get your own fucking know. opinion. My opinion's mine. Stop listening to mine. Go get your own. <laughs> you know what? Podcast? No, 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 no. But um. Yeah, so obviously, the way the movie opens up is like one of like my favorite things, just because it's like the way the way it opens. There's a guy and a girl, like there's like a whole like campfire, and then two people venture off, and then they want to go swimming when you're not not supposed to, not allowed because you know like after like a certain time period, they just hard cut you off of of go, going into the waters, and. The girl makes it to the sea, to the to to like like the water. She starts swimming. Homie's like, "I'm I'm gonna take a nap," and he just go, he he goes. He so goes so fucking fast, fuck dude. Sleep. TB. And he was like, "I can't." What What did he say? He was like, "She was like, what's the matter? Can't swim?" He's like, "No, of course I can swim." And then she's gone. He's like, "I just can't run and strip like you can." Right. And then he's off screen for like ten seconds, and she's like, "Where?" And it cuts back, and he's like, <laughs> and he's just like, like, God damn! I'm, he's like, I'm gonna lay down now. And yeah. then homegirl oh, is like, she's like shaking the buoy. <laughs> it's like some point she's screaming at the top of her lungs, and he's just like, mm. <laughs> he's just like rolling his head in the sand. So, As you would if you're tired, dog. Get those E's. <laughs> So so obviously that's where the where the movie picks up. Homegirl goes missing, Jaws, and everything ensues. So, w- what were your guys' overall th- thoughts and feelings about Brody? I uh, listen. I, I don't get man crushes often. But I thought Brody was a pretty appealing man to look at on the screen. I'm not going to lie to you. I was like, all right, my boy Brody's here. Let's go. Very what handsome up? man. Even, even if I could forget his name until we mentioned that it was Brody again, I'm like, oh, my dog's name. I got that. <laughs> Easy. I remember. Um, I enjoyed, after like the, the town meeting, like up until then, I felt like he was such a, I'm like, there's a main character who's going to come in here eventually. Like there's going to be someone who matters. 
Mm-hmm. And until they hit the town meeting, I'm like, oh, Brody is that guy. I didn't realize that until now. Um, but he's also kind of a, not a silent protagonist, but he's like. Very quiet. Yeah. Like he's really, he deals with the problem without being the center of attention, if that makes sense. Right. Like even until like the very end with like a, a bunch of like, I'm going to finish Jaws here. Like there's a lot of moments where primarily like when his kid and they're him and his friends are out on the boat. Like we see a lot of clips of him rushing to the scene and then he finally pulls kid out of the water. But that dramatic moment doesn't really focus on the hero. It focuses on, yo, this kid about to get eaten by a fucking shark. He makes it, but you know, he, he pops in to save the day. And then we get a bunch of narrative exposition for him to pop in and save the day again. So I don't know if that's necessarily yeah. bad. It's just an observation. Yeah. Cause, cause the, uh, this second time around watching it, I was like, like, like the first half of the film, like I was like, okay, Brody is very definitely the main character. And then they introduce Hooper. And then once they get on the boat yeah. with Quint and it's just those three, like mm-hmm. I was like, I was like, all right. So like Brody kind of like falls off to the side and then like it feels like Hooper kind of takes more of the dominant role. Yeah. Cause like hit, like Hooper and Quint have like a really like awkward dick swinging contest the entire time. As you would. And then, like, Brody's just, just like, off the side, like, I usually, like, I, I don't want to fucking be here. I'm just interested in everything you guys are talking about. <laughs> Wait, which I kind of like that out of the main character, that he wasn't like the, I know everything and I'm good at everything. Like, it was like, like yeah. the, I don't know what any of this is. I'm from New York. I'm not an Islander. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just on vacation. I'm just here with my family. What did you think, Deirdre? I, I liked Brody. That he was like, I think he was a really good main character. I liked that he was like just trying to do his job. And like, well, here I am. Like, and I I do kind of wish like they kept talking about him being afraid of like water and like drowning and and I felt like that didn't come into play the way I expected it. It was just like shark. <laughs> I'm in the water. I got no. I will say though, I I do like Brody, but I am, I am a Hooper girl. I loved. Him. He's my favorite. Same dear J- same same dear J- dude. <laughs> Hooper was like every time like I watched that movie, like I'm girl. like that <laughs> is my dude. Absolutely. <laughs> um, he he. Every time like I watch it, like I'm like Brody's great, but then Hooper is just so much better. I love. Cause like I just love like when he's like talking to the mayor and he's just like that's it I'm done all of you are yeah, fucking yeah. idiots like I'm like that's a very realistic response to this mm-hmm. it's just like that I'm here doing my job and y'all don't want want to do yours fuck it I'm going to leave <laughs> I'm out of here yeah so 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 I I was Danny I was telling Kanai you said at one point that there was someone in the movie that looked like Connor's brother? Yes. Was it Hooper? Uh, it was not Hooper. It was a background character. I, I'll be <laughs> full transparency. I am currently scrubbing through the movie to find that scene. And I'm like, where? Who's this guy that looks like Connor's brother? I don't know where he is. I just remember seeing a man and being like, that looks like Connor's brother. Huh. I just kept going, so I will report back mm. when I have my oh, results. I was the only one who saw that guy in the prison and during Black Widow. The like, <laughs> <laughs> my Discord profile picture for like a month. Yeah. Yeah. So, so with like all the stuff like on land, because there was like, because like I wrote it down on my stick, you know, because there was like a whole like moment where I had to pause to get the exact timestamp. Hmm. We are on the mainland for an hour and 13 minutes into the film. Then that is where the rest of the two hours and 14 minutes, which the, the, the two hours and 14, that's the total run time. Um, but the hour 13, that's where like it's it's all three of our characters on the boat. Um oh. Which I'm just going to say, Quit knows his worth. He was like, yo... 3k don't want that leave that shit at the door i want 10 <laughs> what, what, what was it three uh three to catch 10 to three, yeah three to catch 10 to ten thousand to kill i think that's what he said which which almost like i guess thinking about it 
it sounds a little backwards to me. Wouldn't it be a lot easier to kill it? Than, I mean, it's still I a think huge it's like, ass shark, but... I think it's like catch it and like release it somewhere else. Oh. Not like catch it, bring it back, keep it. Yeah. I think it's like, yeah. I guess I even it so. Like it or yeah, it, think about like there's a big shark eating everybody. If we kill it so it's not eating anybody, <clears throat> it's out of our hair. Right. That sounds a lot easier than I need you to put it in a net or a cage or a something. I need you to somehow contain that creature. Sounds a lot more difficult to me than killing right. it. Right. Yeah, because so, Jaws is Jaws, so because I mean, like, like when, like, like that whole sequence, like on the boat where they're trying to like exhaust Jaws, like the, how much of an effort that was with like the fucking harpoons and the yeah. knots and then the barrels, like that was pretty cool. Like, there's always a part of me that like finds it interesting, and it's uh, so I when I'm at the beach, I don't go in the water. I am the very much the dad of the group. I will stay. I will watch everybody else go out. I'm just going to sit in a chair. I'm just going to enjoy being on land. Yeah. Um, and then like watching stuff like um, Delius catch, like all like the stuff that's like way out and see, I always find, find like that stuff kind of like fascinating. Cause it's like how much of an effort people have to like go through just to, catch fish and shark 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 fishing which those people have bigger balls than i will ever have um but yeah like just seeing like how much of an effort that was i would imagine that that catching would be vastly vastly yeah. more pricier not the right more pricier that no that's just prop poor grammar in my half but mm. what can i say but uh, so speaking of cages, that whole bit with Hooper in the cage, did that give anybody else anxiety? Yes and no. It, it was one of those things where it, it, it's looking at Jaws as the big shark puppet, whatever that it is, where I'm like, yeah, it's a pretty stiff shark, but I get it underwater. I mean... Listen, I love water. I love water. Pokemon, blue. It's just such a majestic thing. Mm -hmm. But I am not ignorant to the disgusting monstrosities <laughs> that are underneath the ocean. <laughs> and they scare the hell out of me. I'm scared to death of like, if you're below 20 feet, I'm like, nah, dog, that's too much for me. I'm going to die down here. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm always have like that fear of like, oh, we're too far down the water. We need to stop. No more. We're good. So I always get like the... I felt this during, I used Deadpool as my example, like in the first one where they have him like tied to the table mm -hmm. and they like not torture him, whatever. But I like, whenever I see that, I feel like the tension, I feel like I'm trapped like that. And I did feel that with Jaws. I'm like, man, homie in a cage and there's a shark slamming in and he gonna die. I'm gonna die. This isn't mm -hmm. okay. I'm not happy right now. I'm in yeah. my bed. I'm not, I'm not even out there yeah. in the sea. I'm gonna die. This one. I'm just watching a TV. I just didn't want to see this today. Why, Hooper? <laughs> I honestly, I thought he uh, like it was one of those things where I know you're not supposed to think someone's dead until you see them die on screen, right. and which was the case here in the end. Spoiler alert. Um, but yeah, they're like, "Oh, Hooper's dead," and then Quint dies. I'm like, "Oh, it's just Brody." And I'm like, "He's either about to kill the fish or he's gonna take it out with him, right?" And I'm like, "It's gonna happen." And then Hooper comes back. I'm like, "Oh, look at that." So, buddy, so, I was so mad. Show. Like. I wasn't mad that Hooper was alive. I was just like, why? <laughs> it didn't add anything for him to be alive. He just is now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, man. Yeah, because, like, like, I really like his strategy of, he's like, all right, it, the, the shark doesn't know I'm here. So I could escape or I can wait it out. <laughs> and, like, I was like, he made a very bold decision to... Wait, there's a part of me that wants to believe when he was down there, he was still looking for the spear that mm. that that had the, the, the drug in it. Yeah. But he didn't have it at the end. So I was like, so did he just not find it? Was he like, oh, explosion, it's dead. Like, let me, I, <laughs> I'm good. I, I want to know what happened from the moment the cage broke and they pulled out like he's dead and he's just like, I'm hiding down here somewhere. I just don't know where I'm hiding from this big ass shark. Right. But I'm hiding. I really wanted him to like stab the shark and the shark while they were like fighting above the water. Like mm. every moment I was like, he's going to do it. He's going to do mm. it. Aww. Aww. 
And then when the shark did blow up, uh, I was like, the first thing I was like, imagine what that looked like from Hooper's point of view. (laughs) (laughs) He's just like chilling, like looking at the shark, like, oh God, oh God. And then it just explodes. (laughs) And then I was just like, would the shark wave like have hurt Hooper? Like his tank? I don't know. I had a lot of questions. Maybe. I was worried about Hooper. What kind? <laughs> dude, 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 like, like the whole time, like they got so like that part like gave me like the main like major anxiety because like obviously you don't want your favorite characters to die, and I was like, mm-hmm. he is inside a fucking cage, he is trapped. There is no way out of this other than death. <laughs> Once Jaws is in, that's it, game over. Did a good job of climbing on his snout and being like, stab, go <laughs> away. <laughs> Dude, dude, he, he he is what Craig aspires to be. Honestly. <laughs> honestly. Craig, Craig is never going to get to that point. But not everybody could be Hooper. W- which I'm just saying, that, that boat he had, though, that was a good boat. That was a good boat. And it was the bigger boat they probably needed. Yeah. But um, kind of backpedaling. I mean, we're jumping around, but that's, that, that's okay. That's fine. So... When Hooper cut, when him, when it was him and Brody, and they were at the tiger shark that that was first caught, what did you, what did you guys think when he cut open the stomach and then the milk came out? <laughs> I'm, I'm first off really mad you said milk because when I saw it, I was like, the shark ate milk, and then I was like, wait a second, wait a second, hold on. That was like my first reaction. An hour oh, before, the shark just ran by the farmer's market and said, Ooh, I need a milk. Mm-hmm. Thank you. <laughs> and then didn't know he was about to get captured. It just... Yeah, you never shark. know. <laughs> um, it was a visual thing. It was uh, uh, not, like, gory or gross enough for me to, like, have any reaction. I'm like, yeah, I, I remember that. And he just oh. split his belly open. Which, uh, fun fact for y'all. Uh, when the movie first came out, it was rated PG. PG, and I then mean, and nowadays it might still. Well, I don't know. Nowadays it's was. a PG thirteen film because uh, once it once he uh, well once Spielberg filmed and well created Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. That's what created the system that got it PG thirteen. Understandable. With which the film po- which the film poster still reads may be too intense for younger children. Which, uh, speaking of, there's one that just gets straight up, like, chomped in half. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is this, is that like the a, mother's... Like Go ahead. I was like, is that the mother's kid? The, yeah, uh, yep, that was the... the that going in... Yeah, that was the second yeah. shark attack after the one in the beginning, where, mm. where they're, like, they, like, the kid gets lifted, pulled under, and everyone's like, shark! Yeah. Shark! And then... And then yeah, the- when the the mom walks in and pulls like a civil war on Brody, the way like uh, the mom does with Tony Stark, where she's just like, mm, "It's your fault. My son died because of you." Like, she's like, "Oh, there was a, a shark attack here last week, and y'all still left the beach open. That's on you. My son's dead because of you." I'm like, "Wow, did this in '75? Oh. Jaws did it first. <laughs> Not Brody's fault." Well, yeah, but she, she slapped yeah, right I know, I know, I know. Yeah. I know. Um, but that kid, like, he had this, like, Johnny Depp blood fountain in the middle of the water. Where it's like, <laughs> it was, like, it was just, like, Dude. bubbling up, and I was like, Jesus. Dude, the blood effects in this, it's like, once they're in water, like, I feel like there's more blood that spills out of people that sh- than that should. But, um, I like, who am I? Somebody is liter- literally getting a shark mouth like ripping them open like i'm not gonna judge how much blood should and shouldn't yeah. be there um it very well could be a fountain um don't factor cap that please i <laughs> know does anyone know the special effects behind that like every time i saw just pools of blood in the water especially jaws when there's just chunks i'm like that's pollution that's <laughs> pollution right there but like Holy. i don't yeah i mean maybe i, I don't know I don't. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how they did it. I, I don't think, I don't even know if they filmed in the ocean. They probably just filmed it in like a large lake, a big ass pool. I mean, still but um, I, I want to say that that 
I want to say this movie is the one that spawned, um, like, they had, like, small, like, controlled, like, little areas that they were, like, they would hook up, like, like mm. the um, machines that would get everything going. So it's probably, like, small contrived spots. I'm not actually sure. Mm. Damn you, Jaws. Because, like, like, I know, like, in the Jaws ride at Universal Studios, like, they talk about it a lot. Like, I want to say the original animatronic for Jaws is there. Ooh, that's Bruce. That's the name of the of the animatronic. That's why he the shark can find him. Yeah, that's what he's named after. He's named after the Jaws that's animatronic. Cool. That's really cool. Um, but did uh, I don't know if you guys remember them mentioning the shark attacks in 1916 because they brought that up a couple of times. Uh, that was a real thing, and all of the kills before they got into the ocean are all based on those. Because the ones that died were a swimmer in the a swimmer that was caught out in tide, a dog, a child, and then a man whose leg was later found washed up on the shore. And that's that's why they put such an importance on the leg falling down and hitting the sand when that one guy gets like yanked back in. Yeah. I'm trying to. Okay. Yep. No. But um. So. Something Kanai uh, told me because I thought the music sounded familiar. Star Wars. Yep. John Williams. John Williams. Same. Same. Bum, 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 because bum. There, there, there's really the part of me that wants to know if there's edits of Star Wars where they took out the Star Wars music and replaced it with music from Jaws. Because because there was a couple tracks like I was like this definitely sounds like like it would fit within the star wars universe like the one where when they're just shooting jaws and they're like be happy they're killing yeah. the shark there was weird happy music while they were shooting harpoons at jaws it yeah. was very strange on a quick youtube also, results that does not exist so i, mm -hmm. I did look it up uh apparently spielberg was like adamant and refused to shoot in any of the water tanks so oh. they filmed it oh. in the atlantic Cool. Yeah. Pollution. Good, good on Spielberg. I also know that uh, at one point in the movie, they actually wrecked the boat. Like, that's the thing. They actually, like, fucked up the boat and it started sinking. And uh, I think one of the quotes from the sound crew is they were like, uh, Spielberg was like, get the actors out, get the actors <laughs> out. And somebody from, like, the crew was like, Fuck the actors! Get out the video and sound guys. We have all oh your money. God. So <laughs> they uh, they ended up dropping a camera. Yeah, oh. yeah, they ended up dropping one of the cameras. So the funny thing is, is Spielberg was like, "That's ruined. Holy fuck, that's ruined." And then he was like, and somebody was like, "Nah, it's probably fine." And he was like, "What do you mean?" It's like the solution we use to develop film is saline, so it's probably fine. And yeah, it ended up being fine. It ended up being used in the movie. Oh my god. That's cool. Not weird for fact, the... If you ever drop an old film camera in the ocean, your film's probably still good. <laughs> yeah, so... So one of the scenes, and it, and it always... It, it, it just makes my, my heart so happy. Like, every time we see it, it's when Brody is sitting down with his son at the dinner table, and the son is copying him. And they're doing, like, the whole thing where they put the hands, and then... <laughs> No, then when then, that, give then me a Hoover kiss. Says, Fuck your family dinner. I'm here to ask you to kill yourself. Yeah. He's <laughs> like, is anyone eating this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, like, I like when, uh, when he he was like, yeah, my name's Hooper. I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm here to, t I'm here to talk, talk to Chief Brody. Shit, and his wife just goes, yeah, I am too. <laughs> I'm waiting to talk to him. I was like, damn. But hey, at least he brought over a red wine and a white wine. It's a fifth occasion. Is that what sold you on Hooper, Deirdre? It, it, it didn't hurt. It didn't hurt. <laughs> it's not necessarily. I think I do have written down in the notes that I took that what sold me on Hooper was when he said 24 hours is like three weeks. <laughs> he, I think it's when like the mayor's like, we, we need to wait 24 hours. Until he, or maybe it's Brody. I don't remember. He's like, 24 hours is like three weeks. And yeah, I was like, just, I love him. It, it's just somebody in the background. Yeah, I was about to say, I think it's just somebody in the crowd. Yeah, yeah. which, <laughs> which it's funny. We, we, we were watching that. 
So once that line came out, Kanai goes, no, no, it's not. <laughs> I was like, nope, not even close. Good job on that, I guess. And then later on, there's a scene where they're like over the parade and like you hear just like random chatter. And there's this kid who going four mommy. Times, yeah, he's like, yes. mom, yeah. mom, mom. Wow! I was like, oh my god, that kid needs to shut the hell up. <laughs> he, he, he's just trying to get his mom to respond. Yeah. So I feel bad for my mom because I'm very much that if she does not respond to me like right away, I just keep getting more <laughs> loud with it. Um, you so, seem to acknowledge, dog. If I ask you a question and you're thinking, just be like, hmm, instead of being like, I'm gonna be dead silent because I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm like, oh, she's old. She didn't hear me. Yeah. And then she get mad when I ask her again. Damn it, yeah. So, but but when when they do it, it's perfectly fine. But I'm then when but then when we do it, it's 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 like I heard you the first time. It's like, tell me. That's all I need. Nah, it's too much. We're we're kids. We're not mm. Parents, you know, don't be disrespectful. It's true. That's Twenty twenty six years young. Who else was sad about the dog? I was sad about the dog. I'm sad about every dog, always. <laughs> always. Now, what I'm not sorry for is those two guys on the dock that were just that took a like a steel chain, th put their their holiday roast on, just fucking threw it in the water. <laughs> like it's like that was Plan A. Well, that was step one. They had nothing else beyond that. <laughs> yeah. like, like, like their plan was throw meat in o in ocean. Big hook. That's all we need. Fish. That's that's all. That's all you need. Bigger hook. <laughs> uh, my favorite part is that they put it with an inner tube so it would float. <laughs> I I will say I really did like that sequence because I feel like it did the whole not being able to see the villain really well because it's like. The music and just the tone and the way it's filmed, it literally, like for me, it made me like scared. I don't know if scared is the right word, just like nervous, anxious about these people and like them being in a dangerous setting over like a piece of a dock. You know what I mean? Like just seeing the piece of dock like slowly like creep up on the guy as he's trying to climb up. I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And then like at the end when it just like bumps into shore, I was like, I was just afraid of like a piece of wood. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. I just really like that. Yeah, which, which which I mean, there there's a reason like like the whole like the da da da, mm -hmm. da is like so iconic. It's because like it does build suspense and like still like I think if there's any part of the mu of the movie that still holds up today, it is any scene that is involving that track because it mm -hmm. builds up that suspense and like it like he did a really good job and it captures that emotion each time at, at least for me. Look, I'm just saying there, there's a reason why why they pay him the the big bucks. They do the big dollars. I will say also, speaking of me being scared, what was with that random jump scare in the middle of the movie? <laughs> well, when Hooper's what underwater. <laughs> yeah, and the head comes out, and it's just like a scream for no reason yes. because I had to like pause it and take a walk because it scared me <laughs> so bad. Like I literally like jumped terribly <laughs> I and I, I don't that. remember any other jump scare in the movie it was just like no just that, 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 that was it that was li literally like the the one one. where they're chumming the water right no no no, no. It, no it's no. it's the one one where hoopa put up Ho hoopa hooper hoopa. put put on the, oh. the wetsuit and, and he was swimming uh <laughs> underneath the water and he inv investigated like the one shipwreck and then the, like oh, and the head and like, the head just yeah. went yeah <laughs> for like no was, reason uh, I was not prepared. I was little. I think it was like I was watching Saturday morning. I had the movie on one screen. I was like working in Photoshop on another, and I looked over just in time for like the shock moment. I'm like, "What the? Why? <laughs> Why did we do that?" I, I love. I love the rubber head with the one scratched out eye. Just being like, <laughs> like it, it was pretty good. It just Fun made fact. the yelling noise. Yeah. That was actually a human head. They actually oh. killed a man and put that in the water. <laughs> Stop. Uh, <laughs> it was. Steven that was my Spielberg uncle. Head. Oh. oh, dude, I am so sorry, but your uncle is a celebrity. Yeah, wow, well, look at him. I'm so go. sorry, your uncle is a celebrity. Yeah. <laughs> Deadhead number three in Jaws. See, number four, I, it right? My bad. I thought you were talking about because there's a scene where he's chumming the waters once they get out, and and the shark's just like, 
Uh, and I it's love that. There. So hey, what's uh, up? There's <laughs> the movie is a little bit longer because of that scene. Because right after that scene, he like jumps up and he's like, "We're gonna need a bigger boat." That's when the the famous line comes in because it's not delivered in some like big cinematic scene. It's delivered very quickly, um, and the initial audience would they missed the line entirely. The test audience for the movie they completely missed the the line because right. it used to it used to be head. We're gonna need a bigger boat. Like it was like right into it. So they were still screaming and freak freaking out at the shark when he was talking. So they extended the time in between the line and the head popping up so that yeah. people were able to hear the line. Huh. So that movie or that scene in the movie made the movie longer. That's kind of cool though. It's it's cool that they did their research and was like, "All right, we need the comedy relief after the jump scare." Like I like that they thought about it. Yeah. But it did make an already too long movie. Longer. Sure. <laughs> sure. Yeah, cuz the amount of because that that's probably like like the next like like the last like hour of the film that's where like I like, I go in and out of it because like there like there's just like so many scenes that I feel like that they could have just taken out there's so many like random shots where it's just Hooper's face for no reason <laughs> other than he's just like <laughs> yeah it's him driving the boat it's showing no progression towards the barrels it's showing mm -hmm. nothing. And then the other one, the other one, hold on, let me see if I can recreate this one. Is it's homie sitting here going. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. Like, that's all he does is he just sits there at the edge of the boat and fucking wiggles. And I was like, cool, that's five minutes of my life. I'll never get back is this dead silent boat wiggling. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> it's, it's interesting seeing it from the '70s because I, I like I think about movies now that do a lot more uh, cuts and these really cool camera shots that I'm sure you couldn't create at the time. Like they had underwater cameras, but right. I'm sure they were super limiting. But I'm like I'm thinking to the moment right after uh, Quentin, like, he sees the line start to move, and he's he's like, I don't want to alert anybody else yet, and he starts to slowly adjust. And I'm like, that's a really cool moment, and it's mm -hmm. one of those like. It was one where it got too quiet on the screen where I had to like stop what I was doing here and be like, all right, I'm solely focused on this in the moment. Um, but after that, once like they start to sail away, like, like, oh, we're, we're pulling on them, we're pulling them, whatever. Um, there were a lot of like really wide shots of the boat sailing for like 10, 15, maybe 20 seconds. And I'm like, and if that movie was made now, there'd be a lot more of like the cameras just underneath the, at like the top of the water. We're going to see like a fin cut through and like scrape the boat. And we're going to see like close up shots of the wire, like cutting around and everything, um, which I'm sure were hard, if not impossible to make in the seventies. Right. Um, which now seems like such an easy, like, Oh, just put the camera in the water and swing the wire, you know? And um, it, it was like, Hmm, I'd like to, I, I hate to say it. Like I want to see a remake cause I don't, but I'd like to see someone like a student be like, I'm going to attempt to recreate this in 2021. Uh, super easy, super low budget and look movie quality. Right. Rana, uh, 3D. There you go. Um, yeah. The, some of the scenes were just super unnecessary, especially yeah. when they're out at sea. Uh, no glub. Because they like, I know how impactful the scene is to the film, but it's when they're comparing scars. Like, I like, mm -hmm. I understand from like, uh, like a writing standpoint, that was a char that was like a moment where the characters were coming together. Because, because, yeah. um, for context, up until this point, this was like the only time Quint and Hooper actually got along. Like before, like everything before this, it was just Quint shitting on Hooper for, um. Re, uh, he doesn't want to like he's not like a hardworking man because he's um uh he's not a blue collar no wait is it white collar it's blue collar blue, I think you're right yeah like he, he, like, like he wasn't like a blue collar war worker like he, like his hands didn't have like the like the experience with like the welts and like the like like like, like all like like the other like wear and tear and like. Like, I was like, Hooper was pretty justified and be like, nah, fuck this guy. Like, don't come at me for this shit. You want to know one of the dumbest scenes in the, like, entire movie 
it's when he's just like he's like what is this is this a cage is this a blah 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 and he's like it's an anti-shark cage and he goes okay so the so the line goes on the cage the cage goes in the water you go in the cage you and the cage go in the water and you and the cage are in the water and you're with the shark in the water with the cage in the line and i was like i i like if i would have had these glasses on i would have been like <laughs> that's how yes, it works that's how all of that fucking works good job you just shat on this dude for not having like world experience and the homie was like it's an anti-shark cage so that, that should have explained everything you just listed mm -hmm. uh, the, line, the snake and the snake and the shake and the shake and the cage and the, cage and the shake and the man one of my favorite scenes uh other than that is when the mom like hooper's wife pulls their kid out of the water after the shark attack and she's like is he dead and i was like my child who has all of his limbs intact with no visible injuries is he dead <laughs> <laughs> and she was like freaking Man. the fuck out and he's like no i think he's just in shock and it's like yeah no fuck <laughs> there's yeah. no blood there's no injuries he's he's perfectly fine and intact yeah, which in in the kid's defense, he did just watch a man get ca the, yeah, another man get capsized and then <laughs> fucking yeah. destroyed. It's perfectly fine that he's in shock. It was just funny that she like yanked him up on the shore. Not like she's like scanning over him like a fucking mad woman, and she's just like, Is he dead? I, I, like I do, I do gotta Go say, ahead. I like. I like when he's coming out of the hospital and she's like, what do you want? He's like, I want coffee. Yeah. <laughs> like, I love that shit. So, so I, I was confused a little bit with that because he, she was like, do you want anything from home? He's like, my car is like your car. Do you want any ice cream? And then he said coffee. I thought he wanted coffee flavored ice cream. That's what I thought too. I, I wasn't sure if it was like, I want coffee. I'm like, it'd be kind of funnier if the, the, Eight nine year old kid was just like, coffee. Oh, yeah. I just want coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I just want a. I just want a cup. Yeah. I love uh, when they were pulling him out of the water and how the little brother, like, it just kept cutting over to the little brother, just sobbing <laughs> by the sandcastles. And like, there was like three or four times it just cut over to him, just like, oh, like right <laughs> behind the little sandcastle. They, and I was just like, someone pick him up. He's upset. He was worried about his brother. I know. I know you're worried about him because you just pulled him out of the water, but someone help him. He's sobbing by his sandcastle. Please. <laughs> if someone wanted to be malicious, they could have just kidnapped that child right there because yeah. not a single person paid attention. That's the 70s, to, though, I feel like. This, a three-year-old just sitting on the beach, though? Like, come <laughs> on, you, man. Could you imagine, like, if the if the parents who just lost their kid and blamed fucking Brody, if they were just like, I, it's my kid now, you already have one. Oh, oh my God. close the beach, son. Yeah, you should have closed the beach. It's our son now. <laughs> oh. I got to replace the one you took from me, John. <laughs> Which, which dear, 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 how, how did you feel when he was running after his brother when they were going to the pond with a boat and oh he's just God. hauling it? He's just, he's had a hard day, that poor kid. <laughs> he was trying to play with his brother. He wasn't allowed. So he decided he was going to build his sandcastle. Like, I'm going to cry thinking about it because <laughs> he was so sad. And then while he was building his sandcastle, he saw his brother almost get munched by a shark. And oh. then he was crying because he was worried about him. His parents are paying him no mind. I feel like they ignored that little kid a lot in the movie, in my opinion. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know, it is what it is. There's uh, there's a scene where everybody's running out of the water for the fake jaws, where it's the kids with, like, the, the, <laughs> the fucking cardboard. And, dude, they, they fucking come up, and the guys just have the fucking guns God, on. Yeah. <laughs> I thought those kids were his kids, uh, were uh, yeah. Brody's kids for a yes. moment, and then I was Same. like, oh, they're not. Okay. Dude. So, um, there's a scene where everybody's running out of the water, and everybody's fucking booking it, and there's just this mom holding her baby in, like, waist-deep water and not moving, and she's just doing that, like, classic horror movie scream. They're yeah. Like, what? What? Like just the the fucking like really bad scream, and I was like, oh, yep, there it is, the classic horror movie sound bite, G fantastic. Yo, which 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 real quick when the when they had the guns pointed at the kid, what well, the kids, and then they like they they're just like waiting in the water, they just go, he made me do it. <laughs> like, yeah. like I feel like that that that's something one hundred percent Danny would do. Just, just be like, he made me do it. <laughs> just like on site. I, I would you really do that, like, Danny? Can't confirm. Can't confirm. <laughs> I really like the part where they're like, it's just some kids with a cardboard fin. And I was like, that's some strong ass cardboard. That went underwater several times and didn't like flim get all flimsy and floppy. Flimsy and, and floppy. And legend has it that those kids grew up to be modern day shit posters today. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, oh this, day, this, they're like in their fifties. Yeah, I'd say they'd be in their fifties. I'm gonna post this meme about a shark. Like at minimum, <laughs> they're probably like sixty or seventy, depending on how old they were. That's they're nuts. Nerds. I got cardboard. I was on this set of jaws, and all all I got was this flimsy fin. The flimsy fin. The flimsy fin. Yeah. How let... can I? You say it. Floppy. Thin. Oh my gosh, she's out of the podcast. I can't work under these conditions, Chris. Got, got, you got, gotta replace him. Gotta replace him with Devin. Hold on. Uh, you, oh. you guys oh, keep it going. Oh, oh. You, you guys. Not where I was gonna go. I was you, gonna say Connor, but that's fine too. You guys yeah, keep well, it going. Connor. No, my bad. We can't just call um, Devin right now. So anyway, there's a big old fish that goes glub glub bite bite nibble nibble uh -huh. and says people die, mm -hmm. right? So that's yep. his whole gimmick. Um, uh -huh. But it turns out he's actually just a shark, not a fish, <gasps> right? And wow. then he eats the boat, and they say our boat's hey Devin, too small. But... What's up? So we we we, we 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 have a little bit of a thing here. Okay. So can I fuck okay. something up, and now we need to no, replace them? No, 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 no context. Tell them to say flimsy fin. Um. Okay. So I just need you to do me a favor, real quick. Uh huh. Say flimsy fin. Flimsy fin. He's in. Thanks, Dad. All right, Thanks, Devin. Devin. So uh, the next movie we're going to be watching is The Shining. You're going to be available f at uh, Sunday for that, right? You're going to be. Not you might be. Sunday. You're going to be. Yes, yes. You're, you're, uh, j just, tell, just tell everybody D&D &D can wait. The podcast is, is, is happening. So uh, I will pr I'll call you back later, okay? Uh, okay. <laughs> There we go. All right, verbal contract. He's in. I'm Shout free. out to Devin. He's a trooper. It's on video. Chris <laughs> always <laughs> calls him. There's no context memes. <laughs> and he's just like, all right. <laughs> That's why I do it, though. Because Devin's just like, he just goes with it. He's just like, yeah, sure, whatever. One day he's going to answer me like, listen, Chris, I just, I, I don't do have this. time for this right now. <laughs> I'm going to need you to just cut to the chase. Uh, what yeah. are we doing? <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> But uh, what a time. But but yeah, so 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 the final sequence cuz cuz honestly like like there's like a lot of skipping around for this one, but there was just a lot of still moments that I'm just like slogging through. Like I'm like, let's get through mm -hmm. it. Let's get through it. Just get me on the boat. I know I'll be fine. And then once once we're on the boat, I'm like <sighs> just a little bit longer. Um just a little bit longer. <laughs> So then, ultimately, at the end of the movie, full spoilers for a movie that kid that's incredibly old now. Um, you've been warned. If you, if you think you haven't seen the ending of Jaws, you've seen the ending of Jaws. <laughs> it's been referenced much. so much in modern media. So um, ultimately, what happens? Jaws. Jaws, goes blue Jaws, do, Jaws does yeah, this thing. Yeah. George Lucas. Where 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 he where Jaws <laughs> just goes, <laughs> and then he slams <laughs> into the boat. <laughs> And like, <laughs> I thought Chris was about to hit his neck on the desk. <laughs> Chris just like, <laughs> oh, so much. And that's oh, how I die. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, you know what would have sucked if he just million dollar babied himself, but like, nobody could turn off the video. So it was just a video of Chris unconscious on the floor. <laughs> I was like, someone's gonna have to go over there because I, I, I don't have, I'm gonna have to call his mom and be like, hey, Chris oh, died in his room on video. You wanna dude, go cut that? Dude, dude. So, so, and then just hit upload. He wants he would want that app. That's what he would want. <laughs> so that, kids, like, I feel like it would be like at the funeral, right? Like Danny would have like this whole video like edited and prepared where it'd be like the funeral dance and it would just be me smacking my head. <laughs> and that's all it would be. That That's all the edit would be. 95, it's just a slow-mo black and white image. And it's like, <laughs> in the arms of the <laughs> It's like it's like the wide eyes, open mouth as he's like about to flop, and it's just like it was at this time he, he knew that he fucked up. It's like a two-hour meme of just like yeah. constantly just that moment, but like in a hundred different ways. Do the two be continued right before he hits the desk? Dan is the... roundabout. <laughs> Danny's gonna JoJo memes me. I'm a Google memes to kill Chris. <laughs> <see that. laughs> so, so ultimately, Jaws flops up, takes out half the boat. Quint falls right down. He, and Homeboy, was putting up a fight. He was kicking the shit out of Jaws. 
But then, you know, like one misplaced foot led to another misplaced foot led to being halfway in Jaws's mouth. And then Jaws <laughs> chomped him. Uchi, uchi. Which that is just that scene like always like kind of like 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 horrified me because like you see like the teeth like impaled and it's like he's like dragging him back and forth yeah. and back and forth and I'm like like there is so much blood and it was a painful horrible way to go out because like we got like a whole backstory from him about how like it was like I saw the eye roll from Deirdre. <laughs> De- De- Deirdre's like so over it. But yeah, like, no, like really? we, we got his World War II oh, backstory. And then it was just 15 minutes that didn't need to happen. <laughs> and then we and then to see to see him go out the way he did, like it's like I may he, he may have been a pain in the ass as a character. Especially like like when Hooper's like, hey, you're gonna fuck up the boat this way. Don't do that. And then he's like, Rah, fuck off, it's my boat. And then and he shoves him. <laughs> fuck him. And then like Brody almost like threw hands with him. Yeah, dude. Get it. Bow bow. Which I mean also shout out so like one of the things but before I because I mean thought per train to like we're going to like, take all these different Absolutely. tracks. One of my favorite things uh about Brody during the segment of the when he's on the boat again I, I i mentioned it earlier but he was learning so many new things uh-huh. and that's tie a knot exactly like he learned how to tie knots he like like he learned how to like like throw the um what was it chumming yeah, yeah. Yeah, like he was, he was, he was doing that. Like, like Homer was learning so much. And I'm like, this is what I like out of my characters that they don't know everything, and that's okay. But um, no, you need to know everything. Or a bad character. So after Quint, after Quint gets dragged in, Brody threw one of the air tanks into Jaws's mouth. Jaws is like, yo, I ate something. Dips back in the water. Does like a swims back out. Does a whole U U turn. Starts swimming right at the boat. Brody's got the gun. He's he shoots a couple times. Witty one liner. Boom. Explosion. Jaws is dead. Blown up. Smile, you son of a It really sends her bitch though. <laughs> like Yeah. Yeah. They cut it like, out. You weren't yeah, allowed yeah, to yeah, swear in movies did. back. Then. It was, yeah. Oh, did they have to? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. No, they like, did. Did they not say shit or did they not swear at all in that movie other than Maybe I just maybe I wasn't paying attention. I just felt like they had already sworn. So be like you, sorry, Deirdre and Dude, Deirdre is just not, beating the knocking, shit out of the desk. I'm knocking things over on the way. I like to imagine it's just she gets like bored after a bit. Like I'm still listening to you guys talk. She's just behind like she's like a cat. <laughs> she's like a cat. She's got to knock shit over to like keep herself entertained. I do it on accident. I'm sorry. Deirdre um, was a cat in, her, in a past life. This is not the first time, Brody. Brody gets cut off in this movie, by the way. I was when I was watching it with Chris earlier. There's a part, this so that thing I was talking about, where they're where they're just like random ass scenes of Hooper and and Quint, where they're just like just doing nothing. That that, it, that goes on for like three to five minutes. It's mm-hmm. just scenes of them standing on the fucking boat, and then finally. Brody goes to say something, and mid sentence they fucking cut him off and go to the next scene. And I was like, "Why? Yeah, Why? Yeah. What was the fucking point? Yeah, what was they the did point? do that. Very weird. I, I was. I, I, I had was to so rewind heated. to be like, okay. No, I was I so heated. I was like, why? Would the minute he goes to add something to the scene, they just fucking stop it. But they're gonna show like three minutes of Hooper driving the boat backwards and just the fucking open ocean waddle from old man Gwent on the fucking oh god. Open ocean waddle is really yeah, good. Dude. Oh, okay. well. I'm waiting for the soldier boy dance to come out of the ocean open, no. waddle, the open ocean waddle. Whoa. Um, but yeah, and then we get the the whole like fucking um. Oh, this is my scar. I was I was saying that I think it would have been a better scene if they left it ambiguous why he hates sharks. I think it would have been like more interesting. Um, I, I think it's cool because you said this is that's a real story, right, uh, Chris? The story of uh, uh, his crew. Yeah. So that was a real story that he put he put his own like he put his own flavor to it, but that 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 is a true story. Um, but like, 
it just feels like a weird insertion in the moment because they're just like what about this scar and like they're they're just like going back and forth on these scars and like this is a moray eel this is from this he's like oh well i had this happen to me and then they do the whole like cheers to your leg cheers to your leg and they start drinking and then he's just like by the way i was in world war ii uh my (laughs) all my friends got eaten by sharks um some of them put up a fight and sometimes we lived a little longer because of that but ultimately i'm the only one left so i gotta kill jaws you're gonna, you're gonna say a sentence so I can cut you off and move to another. Okay, cool. Yeah, there mm. it is. All right, cool. Next scene. Uh, but like, it 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 was just like a weird, it's like slapped right in the middle of the scene. They were just like, here's this random info about Quint. Um, I I really think it would have been like a really strong, memorable scene. The the like, here's to your leg. Here's to your leg. They drink and it like cuts to the next day. They're like sloshed and they're like, where's the barrels? Did we lose them? You know, and they have to like refine jaws, recenter themselves. I think it just would have been stronger, because mm. um, that doesn't even come down to like availability of a camera and like angles and like the time. That's just something they could have done, right? Because um, he, uh, there was a point where I like I was doing something else, and I was like, "Is he still fucking talking <laughs> about this goddamn boat wreck? Holy shit!" And uh, th- then it was like it was like cool. Next scene, I was like, "All right, there it is." Um, and then yeah, uh, back to where we were, which is at the end of the movie, where fucking what's his name pops up out of the water. Like, Hooper, we did it. We Ho- and then I was like, where the fuck did you come Dude, from? Dude, Ho- Hooper was he? He was hiding. He ro- he was just rolling that twenty. He was, he was perfectly. He was just fun. hugging the bottom of the boat, like he was, he was just <laughs> holding on. That like, cause that's another thing is I was like, why the fuck did Jaws just randomly hop up on the boat? Like he had the availability to do that the whole time they were on the ocean, Mm. and he was doing this smart thing where he was like brushing the bottom of it and making it like wobble and tip, and then he was like bashing into the side of it trying to make it sink. Like he was doing all this smart shit, and he's just like, fuck it, it's been two hours, and just like fucking sumo slams on the fucking. We gotta wrap up this movie, dog. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) So like in my mind, I'm like, why would he do that? I'm like. What if Hooper was hiding under the boat and and the shark was just like, I kind of break the thing to get to the guy. That's like the only thing in my brain that like made that make sense. Is that like Hooper did something to like redirect him to the boat. But it was so confusing to me because it was it was like he broke through the cage. I was like, oh, no, Hooper's dead. And then he was just on the boat. I was like, what the holy (laughs) fuck that happened very fast. So, I mean, the image I had of Hooper was like after a cage broke out, he somehow somehow just juked Jaws and Jaws like, I don't know where that white boy went. (laughs) (laughs) Hooper is just like, all right, fuck these guys. And he just starts swimming for land like it's a long trip, but I'm go for it. And then after he saw the explosion, he just turned around and went, oh, shit. Oh, we won, dude. Yo, Brody, we did it, man. Yeah, (laughs) you know. What if he what if he just got on Jaws back, rode him to shore and was like, this is my pet now. (laughs) I own Jaws. Hockey. I am the ultimate <laughs> marine <laughs> biologist. I've conquered the beast. <laughs> oh man, can we talk about how randomly gory the like the fucking books that Homie was reading? <gasps> yes, like, yes. The, the like splintered meat on that one guy's leg. I was like, oh, yo, I, like they didn't even do this for the people that got attacked in the movie, but like he's just flipping through this random like shark attack book. And it's just like these fucked up pictures. Yeah. There was a point where I was like, God damn, are they going to do that to somebody in this? Because like, fuck, that's that's fucking crazy. But yeah, like some of the shark attack victims in that book were like more nuts oh, than God. the special effects right. in the movie. Wait, wait, which same has Danny from earlier where he was n- not necessarily that the movie should be remade, but a take of like a nowadays would be. I would. Yeah. I'm very interested to see how that would turn out, uh, because with all the technology today, they could do some pretty gnarly stuff. Dude, the the most likely to die in that scene where they're like doing this thing where they're like panning to like who's gonna be the next victim? Is it gonna be this dog? Is it gonna be this little kid? Is it gonna be this? Is it gonna be that? And they're just like showing all these people. They were. I was making the joke. I was like, "Up, oh, that's dead. He's dead. She's dead." And then there's a part where there's like this big woman on a raft, just like. And I was like, yo, she's actually dead. She's getting like the the like sucked down, like, you know, in in ocean or like lake movies, there's always that one shot where they get pulled down by like their waist 
and like their hands and feet like go up and then everybody's like what happened to the fucking hilda uh but like mm-hmm. i i was like that woman's so dead that she's gone she's by far the dead one and then the guy's like dog 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 and i was like oh yeah that makes sense and then the one kid what just doggy. like and i was like whoa okay <laughs> not what i was expecting but all right yeah but yeah wow. crazy movie for the 70s mm. i i was like chris this is an 80s movie right and he was like no 75 and i was like god damn and he was like yep. wait a minute that puts it before halloween and i was like god damn okay it's really weird to think about that because it's like 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 you with like the film they use you that's the part that dates it. Everything else makes me believe like it would have been like eighties, almost closer to like nineties. Like it was pretty ahead of its time. And until Star Wars, this was the number one movie in America. Like like actually, this was like top sales. Like this was the yeah. epitome of American films until Star Wars came out. Dude, cool. I, I get it. It's it's a good movie. It's a good movie. Which, uh, um, oddly enough, this movie had a reverse effect that Texas Chainsaw Massacre did. had. It did. Texas Chainsaw Massacre reduced crime in Texas by stopping oh. people from picking up hitchhikers. More people went to the ocean after watching this movie. It, like, I think I read it, like, <laughs> tripled beachgoers in the next five years of its release. What I was, I was, were we doing as a society? Right. right? <laughs> I said, oh man, people die at the beat. Like, that sounds like such a millennial thing to do. Like, wait, I have the chance to die if I go to the beach. Pack it up, honey. We're going. Like, you know <laughs> get I mean? the like, kids. We're going. In the 70s, yeah. like, oh my God, sharks. I want to see a shark. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah. That's how I see it. Um, yeah. It's fucking nuts, dude. Cause I was reading it and it was just like, uh, it, it was like popularity of beaches, like on, on average, only like 5,000 people went to the beach each year. Uh, like these numbers tripled in the next five years after the release of this movie. And I was like, what? That's, that's dumbfounding. Yeah, because I, I was like, funny. this this movie painted shark sharks as like the bad guy. Like, like mm. if you watch this, like because I watched this movie as a young kid and like me, I was like, whoa, sharks are cool. Grandma, get me shark books. And like I wanted like all the shark stuff because I was like, Grandma, yo, sharks shark. are cool. Yeah, yeah. Give me a shark. I want a shark. <laughs> um, <laughs> I want to ride a shark back to shore. And then it's my pet. And then the ultimate marine. marine my <laughs> I want to be Hooper. I yeah. Hooper. <laughs> Give me my Hooper Halloween costume. <laughs> it's my, my turn. But, <laughs> oh, I just found the Halloween. Guys, can we go as like a group? Uh, who wants to be Jaws? <laughs> we're, we're all just famous Hoopers from, uh, throughout media history. Only if I get to be the shark. That's not Hooper. That's Bruce. But it's the shark. You can I was hoping be... to do just a jaw set. I oh, okay. I want to be the baby that cried on the boat. beach. <laughs> Dude, you can be the same. Just, just wrecked and dilapidated. I don't want to be. I want to be the kid. <laughs> I want to oh be the fuck! Sandcastle. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like I just like like as a kid, I was like, "Yo, sharks are cool." But he mm. fucked up that boat. But like other people in the seventies were like, "I want to see a shark." I want to get. <laughs> Let's go Let's see a shark. <laughs> um, one of the there there are two other cool things I read about this. So George Lucas was friends with Steven Spielberg. Uh, it was him, Martin Scorsese. It was like a whole bunch of people. I forget who did it, but uh, uh, Spielberg was like, "Yo, do you want to see this cool thing I'm working on? Look at this animatronic." And I don't know if you guys know, but the animatronic for Jaws had like a history of fucking up and malfunctioning. It was like known as like one of the worst functioning uh, animatronics in like the yeah. history of film. Um, so he took it. He took them to see it, and they were fucking around with it. And Spielberg was trying to see like how big it was and like what it looked like from the inside. So he was doing a joke, and he was like, "Ha ha, look at this!" And then uh, Scorsese and somebody else like pressed a button, and the, it like closed on Spiel on uh, not Spielberg on George Lucas, and he got like stuck in it, and it, they could so they had to like pry it open. And they immediately left and they did that like they did like nobody tells mom because they thought they broke it. They thought they broke the animatronic. They were like they're like nobody says a fucking word. And then eventually when they were doing a documentary on it, Spielberg outed them for it. So was it like was it actually like dangerous? Did they like clamp and hurt something? Or was I don't think like, they hurt George. Stuck. They didn't hurt George Lucas. He just got stuck like the, okay. the locking mechanism for the jaw wouldn't open up. Okay. So like, yeah, so so it he so it didn't turn in into FNAF where right yeah <laughs> okay 
It wasn't the bite of 86 or whatever. <laughs> Yo, do we get a shark in the next FNAF game, dude? <laughs> His name's Bruce. Uh, no. Yo, security breach? I just want a shark run around like, hey, welcome to Freddy's. Good, 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 good. <laughs> and he's just like all it's, it's got a little hooper stuffed animal on his shoulders. Oh. Uh -huh. You're going to need a bigger boat. <laughs> <laughs> The, the name of the restaurant is like Bigger Boat Pizza. <laughs> uh, no, um, and that's how so the the other... Eat your heart out, Matt, Pat. That's how we connect <laughs> the NAFTA. <laughs> the but that's the Okay, that's the, okay. Okay. The, the only other cool thing I read about this that I was like, wow, that's really, really interesting is the mother of the child who dies, the one that slaps Brody. Uh, so her and the kid, after that scene was filmed, they didn't see each other again for like 30 years. And then the mom ended up at a restaurant in New Jersey, which is where the movie's filmed, I yeah. believe. Um and on the menu, they had, uh, it was like the something special, and it was the name of the kid who dies in the movie. And she oh, well. she was talking to her waiter, and she was like, that's funny, I played his mom in that movie. And uh, if you don't know, her husband in the movie is played by Steven Spielberg, which I thought was interesting. Oh. Um, but she's like, yeah, I played the mom in the movie. And like that was as she was walking out. So somebody chased her to like go talk to her and it was the kid it was the Aww. guy who played the kid Aww. and they like met back up and like hung uh, they like kept in touch after that Aww. i thought that was really cool I I found that. That out. it's crazy how that happened best movie so far by the way that guy's name was jeffrey Vo Voorhees. Oh. yeah that guy's name was jeffrey Voorhees. Uh -oh. so when i found that out i was like this came out technically before friday the 13th so kid dies in water parents not watching <gasps> Could, oh my could, God. Yeah, Jason Voorhees might be like his name might be based off Jeffrey Voorhees's character. Well, the cool. actor who played the character who was the kid yeah. who got yeah. No, that's a game theory. But I couldn't find mm -hmm. anything to support yeah. that. But I think it would be cool. So in my brain, in my noodle, that's how that's how Jason got his name. What? Uh, yeah. Uh, does anybody ha else have anything else they wanted to uh, mention? Bring up about the movie? I just have a quick little thing. When we're first introduced to Quinn, is that his name? Quinn, the old man. Yeah, yeah. Quinn. Yeah. yeah. And he, dra he drags his nails across the chalkboard. For no was fucking he the reason. One, was he the one who drew that goofy looking shark on that board? <laughs> Jesus, because I was just goofy. like, I was goofy. like, I can't take anything this man is taking seriously because of the way that shark looks behind him. He's like, yeah, I'll catch a shark. And the shark's behind him is like, hey, everybody. It's me. And then there's just oh, like the stick figure yeah, guy man. that's just oh, like, hair. <laughs> yeah, he's just like, I don't know. I was like, I can't, I cannot take that. Hmm. I was like, no. There was a there was a part where like I just couldn't understand a fucking word he was saying and I was like this is not a paid actor this is a drunk person who is an extra on the set and like he accidentally scratched the chalkboard and Spielberg was like that's good Keep that's going. good Keep it was going. something about sharks and he just like talked and then like mm -hmm. he got he was like all right you're gonna be important don't worry and he brought him back like it, I, I, there was a point where I was like he he cannot be a paid actor he has to be well he, obviously he ended up being paid. But like I was like, he has to be just some drunk man. This is not the the voice and words of a sober man. Give a little grab, throw him in. Mm. Yeah, he's just like, all right, here you go, buddy. Big facts. Draw this shark. It's gonna be goofy. 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 But uh, yeah, it's that was Jaws. It's another one in the books. Now we're gonna. I'm gonna combine. Did you just shoot a basketball? Was that Deirdre? Yeah, I thought he was gonna be like in the in the bag of the basket. And like... He surprised me with books, and I was like, "Fuck!" He was like, "That's another one in the books." And I was like, "I was, <laughs> I was already committed," and then I was like, "Ah, here we are." I so I was We're deciding to be this today. Hear that and just be like, he's playing a game. He's like. <laughs> that's like his victory. He's like, "Oh yeah!" That's cute. Just that's cute. dunks on him. Turn. He's just. <laughs> But yeah, so we're I'm gonna take two segments and we're gonna combine them into one. So guys, what is your score and your favorite death? Oh god. I'll go Ooh. first. Ooh, Deirdre go okay, okay. I know. Well I know, I know. 
Well, uh, you're showing some fucking initiative. We go. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I try my best. Yeah, you're um, welcome. Queen, go for it. <laughs> Period, Queen, you go. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, uh, I really, I did enjoy the movie. I think that it is, I, it is a little. We've harped on it enough, but it is a little long, um, especially for all the stuff that happens. I think it is a little longer than I would like it to. be be for me to rewatch it if that makes any sense mm -hmm. um it's very much maybe if i'm really missing a shark but then i'll probably fast forward to the last 30 minutes um that being said uh i'm gonna give it a 5.5 5. um, okay just because general enjoyment i did enjoy it but rewatch ooh, probably won't um and then my favorite death is the first death where it's the girl being like, like drug around in the mm. water. I just like that. I just think it's. There I don't want to say men. visually appealing, but like, I like watching yeah, people that's, die. That is that's the scene where she dislocated her her arm, right? Because it's like the two scuba divers yeah. who like pulled her yeah. around underneath the water. Yeah, it's two that. men. It's two men yanking her in different directions yeah. by like yeah. rope in the water. Yeah. Yep. And she ended up getting hurt and then she kept screaming and then yeah, they didn't have like a please say this if you're hurt because you're filming something in which you're being like, oh, stop, please. Here's, you know. the, here's the safe word. The, listen, Banana. kids, always have a safe word. That's what we learned. Danny, yep. you know what? We Our brains went the same way. I was also going to go. <laughs> she was just out there screaming banana, fucking flailing her arms. They just leave it in the movie. So if Kanai and I ever fuck, we're using Our banana. safe word's banana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's going to confuse Connor because that's it. Connor's going to be like, it. banana? Yeah. Like, you guys call? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's, That's not my safe thing. word. That's my start word. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a press start car, but to say banana. If Love you that. And you better say strawberry. <laughs> going in. Anyway, yeah, I I love. I will end on. I love Matt Hooper. Uh, I, I I forgot to mention this, and I just remembered when he, they're talking about their scars, and he's like, "Look, check this one right here." And he's like, "Molly, she broke my heart." I was like, "Oh, my boy, I love you." I would I, never do that to you, Matt Hooper. I I I just want to say that that joke is very much something I would do. <laughs> it, it does feel it's kind of on brand. Yeah, it's it, it's very charged. Anyway, He's a shark. <laughs> Dude, yo, cast Danny for the cast Danny for the next jaws. I agree. <laughs> I'm the Meg too. Get Jason um, Statham. <laughs> did you mm. give a score? I did. No, she said five, you, five yeah, point five. Five. Listen, Danny. I did. I honestly, I thought I was. I'm like, I didn't hear her say a number. Shaking I just my head. Heard her talk about Matt Hooper. Five and mm. a half. Oh, I do number. be talking about Matt Hooper. What can I say? Mm. Anyway, Danny. Chris, you have you have the scores in front of you. Yeah. Yes, I do. What is my second highest score right now? I know the crow. <gasps> so your crow is at eight, and then upon maturing and acquiring the taste you gave nightmare in elm street a 7.5 and that is currently sitting at your second okay you see that palm maturing he's a uh then you got two right. two <laughs> 6.5s followed by a five then a 4.5 so the thing that i give jaws and why it works best for me is that like going into this we're like danny's not the hard guy like the this is not danny's cup of tea and like until these last two movies, that's what most of them have been. So they're not like yeah, it was a decent time watching them, sure. But like I again wouldn't watch them again. Mm -hmm. And then The Crow was different. I enjoyed The Crow and Jaws. I'm like when you said we were watching this, I'm like oh cool, it's a movie that I didn't expect to have on this list because like it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. We're gonna be watching a shark movie, and I liked it. Uh, so I definitely am gonna give Jaws. We do half points, so. Mm -hmm. Damn. I'd put it right between Nightmare on Elm Street and The Crow if I could do like 7.7. 7. But for sake of it, I'd do like a 7.5. It would match with Nightmare on Elm Street for me. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. Like I said, I, I enjoy Jaws a lot. I, I'd say I would be more likely to rewatch Jaws than rewatch Nightmare on Elm Street. And that's not a shot at Nightmare on Elm Street. Right. It's just Jaws is more in a, in a genre of movie where I'm like, oh, cool. Not big murder guy killed 20 kids. But dang, right. he's just... a skeleton. The fucking... 
It's listen. I get it. I get it. I think Nightmare on Elm Street is a good movie, dude. It's so I would goofy. rewatch Nightmare on Elm Street. It's it's in the trope of like, okay, here's here is movie where man kill people. You know, I'm just like, all right, cool. There's like 90 of those. I don't need another one. But shark kill people. Now we're talking. <laughs> um, as far as favorite kill, I liked the dude. Uh, like when they were, I, th- I think I'm. I hope not mixing the two moments. He's in his own boat. Like, hey kids, be careful, don't tip. And then. <laughs> Jaws yeah. comes out and just ruins this man because <laughs> after he pulls him <laughs> down, everyone on the beach is listening and there's like this like girlish shriek. I'm like, is someone else being eaten? And then like they cut to him reaching up and then gets drugged down and he goes, ah! I'm like, no, that is him. That is him screaming. Okay. And then cool. his leg. And, and then just, yeah, just, and just the bloody down. leg just landing yeah. at the bottom. Yeah. I thought it was someone on the shore screaming out, like, someone get someone, some human swim out there and stop the shark. Like, what are we going to do? I was hella confused that whole scene because that's after the cardboard fin thing. Mm -hmm. And then there's just a female voice in the distance going, shark in the pond. Yo, yo, I see I was just about to shark roast that moment because that woman is like me trying to give a fucking call out in road company where she <laughs> sees everything happens like, shark shark and then it's like it all hit off like she's trying to get the words I mean like I get it because like in that moment you're like someone's about to fucking die if I don't do this someone's going to die someone is dying and she's like okay there's a shark Granted, Imagine that's whole, as he was swimming to them. I'm gonna do a whole road company video where Chris is just, just only yelling pond. shark in the pond. Shark in the pond! Shark in the pond! <laughs> Chris, where? In the pond! Who is it? Uh, which, which character? Which character? It's the shark! <laughs> <laughs> that's the next rogue, the shark. <laughs> no, it's Runaway. She drops in two days as of recording this. She is dropped it, four days ago as of recording Sorry, runway, runway. I was about runway. to say, I thought it was runway. runway. If it's run yeah. away, okay. Nope, it is runway. My queen from the first cinematic, baby. Mm. Now it's a rogue company podcast. Let's get started. Mm. <laughs> um, so I guess it's me next. Yes, sir. Okay, so I I am in the same boat as Deirdre, where I do like this movie. I am very reluctant to watch it again just because of how long it is. Mm-hmm. Like if it's on in the background and someone's like, "Jaws is my favorite movie," do you mind if I put it on? I'll be like, "Go ahead, that's fine." Like, and then I'll probably, like, really buckle down for, like, the kill scenes. Like, like if I hear, if I hear the fucking mayor walk up and he's like, I need you to get in the water, Larry. Like, if I hear mm. that, I'm like, okay, now I can start watching because people are going to die. Like, that's the good, because in between that, There's it's just, cues. like, politics. Right. Uh, sign this paper because the subsection blank of the code of the blank, 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 and the blank, and, like, uh, it loses me during all that. We're closing, we're closing the beach, but only for 24 all, hours. Only 24 all hours. I, literally all I needed to hear was him get pulled aside by the mayor, wipe to a fucking, uh, like, board meeting with the, the community, and then be like, we're not closing the beach, we're gonna lose too much money. It's like, but what about the shark? Like, that's all I needed. And then, like, wipe to the event. It's like, nobody's getting in the water. It's like, get, like I do like the get in the water Larry scene. I think, I think it's funny, and it says a lot about, like, the mayor mm. while doing, because Larry's like, Okay, kids, fuck us, I guess. Like, literally, the whole posture after that is just like, fuck my family, I guess. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't even know if that's his name. I, I, Larry's just what's sticking to me. But Larry. he just, like, walks up and is just like, get in the fucking water. Get get in the water. Um, they're not going to the join. They're, <laughs> they're not going to swim in the water if somebody doesn't take initiative. True, fucking do true. it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I was like, you get in the water, homie. You're the mayor. It means more if you do it. But, um, yeah, like, there are key scenes I would tune into. Um, the, like, smile, you son of a boom, like, that is iconic. Uh, like, there, there's a lot of scenes where I would tune in, but for the most part, I don't think it's worth going back to watch because I've experienced it before. Mm. Um, and it doesn't have a whole lot I care to re-see. Um, so for me, like, I, I wouldn't say 5.5. I'll give it a 6, just because I do like it. Um, I think 5.5 is a fair one, but I think that like it's another one of those ones. I don't want to say it's like the crow where like it's worse rewatching it for me. Uh, and worse is a very loose term. It's just the first thing that came to my mind for that movie. Mm-hmm. But this is one where I just don't feel like I ever have a need to resee it mm-hmm. just because I feel like I retained most of it the first time. Like rewatching this, I'm like, yeah, I remember this. Yeah, I remember this. Yeah, I remember this. Um, favorite kill. It's not my favorite because of who dies or like how they die, 
I just like the implication kill, so it's the dog, uh, which is unfortunate because I'm not happy the dog. I'm not happy the dog died, but I like the way they wrote it because that's a really good suspense. That's a really good like grab. Is like the dude who's playing with his dog, and then it, you hear him like run out. He's like, "Where's my dog?" Like that's like, "Oh fuck!" Like, uh, okay, the shark is here. That's like a. It sets up that whole scene, and it's such like an important kill that is not shown, or like there's n the only thing you see is the fucking stick on the on the beach, and like I think that's much more powerful than like the bloody gory like blood fountain. I think it's more impactful than the screaming dislocated arm woman. Uh, and I think it's personally, I think it's more impactful than like the swinging shark because it, it sets up the big thing that sets up the end in a very cool, like anxiety building way. I like it. That's why I had to preface it with like, I'm not happy the dog died. Yeah. <laughs> but I like the way that they went about it. And I said, I wish it was a cat instead. Nope. Nope. You heard him. No, nope. cat um... shouldn't be on a beach. Don't take a cat to a beach. It's too <laughs> don't, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Uh, that's a giant bathroom to a cat so for me personally I have this movie at a 6 it is one yeah. that I've always said that if it's on in the background or if, I, or if I'm just like going through, through TV and there's absolutely nothing else and this movie's on I'll watch it at like whatever point it's at I'm just going to watch it from there um, so I, I the, initially I gave it a 7 but then I'm like alright let me rethink this I, I, I'm settling on a 6 that feels like the comfortable sweet spot for me where it's like I would 100% watch it again. It just where wherever it picks up, I'll just have it on in the background. And then uh, for me personally, it's Quint. Quint's death yeah, was it's a good one. Yeah. Cause, I cause, see that point. When, when you were talking about the blood fountain and you were like, I wonder how they did it. Quint is kind of how I felt. Cause I, like to me, those teeth look like they're hard. It look, they look right. like they're shark teeth. And I'm like, he has to either be wearing something protective or they have to like retract somehow or be like rubber or something. But even so, like, it's probably uncomfortable as fuck. Right. Like, 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 like that whole scene had like a lot of things that I'm like, I want to know the process of how they film this because that's yeah. the most intriguing part. Because like that, like the teeth looked like they were legitimately inside his body and yeah. homie, like, like Jaws is like, teeth like set like as he was like descending into the water with him like right up to here so like a good majority of this man's body is inside jaws and then he just gets yeah. pulled down and sank like like that whole thing to just like watch like brody like trying to help but there's not much he can do and he's like this man's dying there's absolutely nothing i can do like that whole moment was was just super super impactful um yeah so with that ladies and gentlemen there is the scores in the books i'm just gonna reiterate it one more time for y'all i gave it a six dear dre gave it a 5.5 danny the highest scorer of the movie of for this week at a 7.5 and then can i at a six so with all that guys definitely check out the movie it's def definitely wor worth a worth a watch, and who knows, you might find find some that could be your favorite. But, ladies and gentlemen, with all that said and all that done, I, as you guys know, every time their links are gonna be be down in the description below. You guys keep dominating your paths. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Arg. <laughs> Arg.